Welcome back to the program. I am joined now by Stacy Hirsch. She is the Department of Arkansas Heritage Director, and she has been in that role for uh, more than three years. Two and years, a half years. Two and a half, almost mm -hmm. three years now. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, oh, yeah. well, let's talk a little bit about uh, a couple of Hall of Halls of Fame. I got to get that uh, wording right there. I want to begin with the Food Hall of Fame, which you guys have just opened up nominations for year two. For year two. Yeah. That's Tell right. me a little bit about what the Food Hall of Fame entails besides good eating. <laughs> um, it's really, it was really launched as a way for us to have a conversation with the people of Arkansas about culture and history and community through food. So in the initial year, we created four categories that we would recognize, and then we're gonna expand on that. And um, we had over 300 nominations in the wow. first year. A whole lot of conversations started. But this year, we're gonna add some things that I think will really let us focus on how we have that conversation in a more robust way. Give me a little bit of an example of what you're talking about there, so. Um, well, we, th we, we identified different categories that we could, um, sort of showcase what's uh, through food about the history and culture of Arkansas. So for example, some of our winners were Rhoda's Tamales down in, in Lake Village. And she's been in business, you know, for 35 to 50 years. And she's just got a very compelling story about her business. Uh, Jones Barbecue, of course, was on the list. And it's probably the oldest African-American uh, restaurant in business in the South, if not the nation. So it's, it's a very interesting story. And so people, when they talk about food, uh, they really engage. Everybody has an opinion, everybody has a story to tell, and so that's really what we're trying to best accomplish. Best burgers, best tamales, yes. best barbecue. Now there's also, you've got a festival kind of category there we too. Do. And the Cave City Watermelon Festival was yes. the winner last year. So uh, you got Hope, you got, which Hope mm -hmm. had to be disappointed that Cave City beat them out on that I, one. So. I bet they'll be back with a nomination <laughs> this year. Um, yeah, you know, the, the, the event I always think about, of course, is the Coon Supper. I mean, those sort of legendary events that are part of our history and culture in Arkansas that are related to food. So uh, the Coon Supper, the, the Cheese Dip Festival, um, I think will be a great nominee. Uh, they have to be at least five years old in that category. So we've got a lot of great events that focus on food in our state that really, really are interesting to talk about. Food and heritage, it goes hand in hand mm -hmm. in terms of it Arkansas does. and its, its culture there. All right, let's shift gears and talk about a politics hall of fame. Uh, we launched this idea on our TV show last week. You were an enthusiastic supporter of doing this mm -hmm. because Arkansas does have a rich, rich political heritage. Tell me why you believe that the time's right to explore this idea? Well, I, I think it's similar to the Food Hall of Fame in that people really uh, engage in, in politics. They, it tells a compelling story about our state. It's something people like to talk about. They have an opinion about. It brings people to the table. I think it's a great conversation starter and really tells an interesting and compelling story about our state, like it does about every state. Uh, we've got great characters in our history, some real heroines, if I may mention sure. Hattie Carraway, who um, I think would be a great nominee. That's a great story about, about Arkansas and politics that we sent the first woman to the Senate. I mean, that, that's the kind of information I think people really love to know about and talk about. So I think it's a very uh, interesting idea. We got a lot of work ahead of us. I'm, you and I are gonna be on kind of an ad hoc, a steering committee, try to get this thing off the ground and we'll have a lot of different directions that we can think about going. But in the back of your head, besides Hattie Carraway, you got, a, you got another idea or two of somebody that should be in an inaugural <laughs> class, don't you? Tell me well, who it is. Well, of course I think of uh, Winthrop Rockefeller, mm -hmm. um, as so many do, but just uh, what he brought to the state of Arkansas, just in terms of uh, transforming our state, I think is, just undeniably important and historic. So I would think of him, of course. Um, the usual suspects, I think you, you would have to address in the first couple of years. Yeah, I agree. And I think we need to look at some categories outside of just those elected to office too. So we will have a lot to discuss and we'll keep viewers and listeners up to speed on this as it progresses. And we will honor Mr. Brummett's column on this and say we will give some thought to what's the best way for a 
public-private or a private partnership on this. I so. think that's a good idea too because um, like with the Food Hall of Fame, there had been some attempts to talk about food you know, as a, as a cultural entity, a historic entity in the state, but nothing really took hold until we took that 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 concept and really ran with it. Yeah. And now it's a program that'll happen every year. Yeah. All right, if you want to make some nominations for the Food Hall of Fame, you can go to the Department of Arkansas Heritage's website. And you can also find that through our website at talkbusiness.net. Get your nominations in. The deadline is uh, October 31st. All right, so you got some time to do it. Stacy Hurst, thanks Thank so much. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you. We're back with more right after this.